Hello, second grade. This is module three, lesson two, and our objective today is I can count up and down between 100 and 120 using ones and tens. Okay, so we're going to start out by counting ones, tens, and hundreds, and I'm going to hold up bundles to show you what to count by. So a bundle of 100 means that we're going to count by hundreds. A bundle of 10 means we're going to count by tens. And a single straw means that we're going to count by ones. All right, so it looks like here I've got bundles of tens first. So we're going to start out by counting by tens. But we're not starting at one because this is a bundle of 10. So we're going to start at 10. So let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Okay, so now it looks like we have hundreds. So we need to count by hundreds now. So we're starting at 130. 230, 330, 430, 530, 630. Okay, we're going back to tens. So starting for, from 630, 640, 650, 660, 670, 680, 690. Okay, now we're going to ones. So count by ones from 690, 691, 692, 693, 694, 695, 696, 697, 698, 699, 700, 701, 702. Whew, that was a lot of counting. Good job. Okay, <clears throat> so this is our application problem here. It says that Ben and his dad have sold 60 chocolate chip cookies at the school bake sale. If they baked 100 cookies, how many cookies do they still need to sell? <clears throat> so remember, our application problems you can solve using whatever strategy we have learned so far. So go ahead, push pause, and then push play when you're done solving. Okay, so there's two ways that I'm going to show you you could have solved this. So you could have drawn out... 100 cookies and label it by tens. You wouldn't want to draw out actually 100 cookies. So it would be easier just to draw 10 cookies and label it by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So it was like you were grouping your cookies into tens. Then you could have crossed out 60 cookies because they've already sold 60 cookies. So you cross out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, which leaves you how many here? It doesn't leave you four cookies because remember each of these cookies is worth 10. So you'd have to count 10, 20, 30, 40 cookies. So they still need to sell 40 cookies. Or you could have solved it like this. You could have drawn a little diagram for yourself. And you could have put 100 cookies here and 60 cookies. And you need to find this space right here. So they took 60 plus 40 equals 100. Or 100 minus 60 equals 40. 
So you could have done it either way here. You could have done 60 plus what equals 100 and you found 40. Or you could have done 100 minus 60 equals 40. And you would have found out that they would need to sell 40 more cookies. Okay, so I have a hundred straws here. This is a bundle of 100 straws. Now let's count as I add some more straws here. So 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Now I have 10 straws here, so what can I do with these 10 straws to make it easier on myself? Right, I could take all of these 10 straws and bundle them into one bundle of 10. So now I have two bundles instead of one bundle and a bunch of extra loose straws. So I have 100 here plus 10, so 110. So let's start adding some more bundles of 10 here. So let's see, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. Oh, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 more bundles here, and that equals 100. <coughs> so could I put all of these tens into a one big bundle of 100 let's go ahead and do that let's put them all into a bundle of 100 so we have 200 we've got 100 200 now let's continue counting 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 friends we just counted 1000 straws good job all right let's continue our counting challenge here so let's count from 100 to 124 using our bundles so let's start with our bundle of 100 and it looks like we need to add a couple tens so let's add how many tens do we need to add let's see if you're right so this is 100 110 120 looks like if we add another it would be too much because that would be 130. So we need to go to ones now. So let's start adding ones. How many ones do we need to add? All right, let's see if you're right. So we're at 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. Good job, we did it. All right, now our next challenge is counting from 124 back to 100. So we can do that by counting backwards and taking away our straws. So we have 124 here. So let's start taking away 124, 123, 122, 
121, 120, 110, 100. Ooh, we made it. Good job. Okay, so now we need to count from 124 to 200. So I already got our 124 up here. And we need to add some more, it looks like. So 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 2, 130, sorry. Should we still count by ones or should we move to another bundle? Which bundle should we use? Should we move to the bundle of tens or the bundle of hundreds? Right, we should move to the bundle of tens because it's just going to take too long if we keep counting by ones. So we've got 130 straws here now. So let's start count counting by tens again. So 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. All right. Challenge complete. Uh-oh. Looks like we have another challenge here. Okay. So now we have to count backwards from 200 to 124. <clears throat> so we can do that by taking away some straws. So let's start by taking away these bundles of 10. So we've got 200 here. 190, 180, 170, 160, 150, 140, 130. Now we need to start taking away ones because we need to get to 124. So 130, 129, 128, 127, 126, 125, 124. Whew, that was kind of tricky, but we did it. Good job. All right, it's your turn to show us what you know. Here's your exit ticket. You are going to first tell me how many straws are in each of these. So you're going to count up your straws here and write your answer here. You're going to count up your straws here and write your number here. Then for number two, you're going to do something similar to what we just did. You're going to count from 96 to 140 with ones and tens. And you need to use your pictures the bundle groups like this to show your work. After you're done doing that, you need to take a picture and seesaw your teacher. Good luck.